wondering why I got top of a ladder, but oh. so am I to be honest. I thought it'd be a funny intro. But guys, today, first and foremost, actually, it is like, what time is it? It is 20 to 1 in the morning on the 1st of January. So first and foremost, Happy New Year. Hope you guys are having a great 2024 so far. You're probably watching this a couple of days later, but I am at, <laughs> but no, is that you taking out products? But I am at Collector's Card House in progress. As you can see, this is not the complete uh, kind of store, but we are literally setting everything up. Uh, but what I thought I'd do today, give you a little bit of a tour, uh, but then also, we're gonna be raiding. That's right, we're gonna be, he's just picking up. What are you picking up over there? A tapping. <laughs> Bro, come over here, right. Like I was saying, I'm gonna be raiding the store today because I'm gonna be picking up some items that I'm gonna be streaming and opening up throughout the month of January. So keep your eyes put out for that because it's some cool stuff. But not only that, I wanna give you a little sneak peek of what the store is looking like so far. So these are some of the cabinets we've got going right now. And as you can see, we've got a lot of sealed product in the uh, cabinets. We've got an Evolving Skies booster box. We've got some Hidden Fates tins. We've got a mallet. That's not for sale. We also have ETBs, Hidden Fates. We've got some Japanese booster boxes as well um, from all the like new modern sets and V-Star Universe as well from 2021, I think that came out. Here are some really cool tins. We've got this Mewtwo EX from the XY era. We've got some Kyrum EX uh, Groudon as well, Machamp. The Evetal, these are actually really sick. I've showed these in an investment video. Actually are two black and white packs in these. So very, very cool tins um, and some really, really cool pack selection in them as well. So that's some of the tins we got some off up for offer. And um, these are actually gonna be some of the stuff you're gonna be able to pick up at the store. We've got a load of booster packs. Actually, Butler, come back here. I've got the Butler behind the camera, by the way. Shout out to the Butler. We got some vintage packs right here as well. And also One Piece, which is going crazy at the moment for prices. This is OP3, I think, and that's OP2. Uh, that's OP4. <laughs> OP4 and OP2. I'm not the biggest One Piece guy, but we got some black and white era packs right here. We got some Platinum Supreme Victors packs at the background. So um, yeah, and then to be honest, um, just let's, let's, not, let's, let's not look at this, this side. This is a work in progress. We need to work out what we're gonna do with all these trick and trade packs. Anyone like Halloween? Uh, because we literally have thousands of packs, what it feels like. So um, yeah, Halloween, we're gonna have to do something big. But loads of single cards as well, like as you can see. Like, I'm gonna just pick out some random stuff. We got an Urshifu V, we got some Chinese um, Pikachu promos. We've got loads of promos as well, Eevee from Shining Fates. So much singles that we need to kind of go through that are gonna be available for you guys to pick up at the store. Hopefully we'll get them in a nice display. We don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but uh, we also have some PSA graded cards, we got the Pikachu Day, uh, or Pokemon Day Pikachus right there. Loads and loads of slabs that are gonna be available for you guys to pick up. Um, so yeah, got a load of booster packs as well. Like, we still need to figure out where we're gonna be putting all this, but we'll get there at some point. We'll get there at some point. Um, so yeah, loads of plushies which the butler managed to pick up. What the heck, it, why have we, what? Cast form. Why have we got cast form? Who's, who wants a cast form? Let me know in the comments if you would pick up a cast form. No, I'm good. I would be surprised if there's anyone. But we do have this, Pokeball, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just... Yeah, anyway, so um, <laughs> we can just, you know, do a bit of a... What did you catch? I don't know, yeah, I caught, caught a ladder. I caught a ladder. But yeah, we've got loads of steel product to go through. Uh, this is actually going to be, at some point, a streaming booth. Uh, so this is going to be really cool, where people are going to be able to stream uh, via whatnot and other stuff like that. Uh, ourselves as well at some point, uh, the shop as well. So we've got some really cool ideas that um, will be involving streaming. We just need to figure out what we're going to do and how it's going to look. I'm not the best at... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to look. I can see it in my head, but I don't know how it's going to turn into reality. We walk past some of this stuff right here, which um, is pretty cool. We've got a glass cabinet, which is just showcasing some really cool stuff. we got some... Uh, very, very vintage theme decks right here. We got the uh, Overgrowth, the Zap, the uh, the Bushfire. We got some mystery packs, the amazing Precious Collectors box. Um, and then obviously we're gonna have some slabs right here. The promo is actually at the bottom. We took it out just so people can see. We've got some really cool booster boxes from Forbidden Light, Ancient Origins. We got Ultra Prism, Burning Shadows. Uh, we got some really, really rare invisible slabs up here. Uh, as you can see, that one's going for 2,750. <laughs> <That one's> expensive. <laughs> yeah, and then we got one over here for 1,300 as well. PSA 10, you can't see it because it's invisible, but trust me, it's a PSA 10. Come over here, we're gonna meet Char. Now you guys, this is a very, very rare thing that not many people get to see, but um, we, we got Chubb right here. This is, this is, this is Chubb, which um, 
He is the gatekeeper of all the product. Chubb has the biggest key, he's a big guy. So uh, <laughs> shout out to Chubb. So yeah, here is an absolute mess of uh, product that we need to go through. But um, like I said, the whole aim of today's video is we're gonna go through some of the stuff I'm gonna pick up, hopefully spend quite a bit of money, because like I said, we're gonna open up a lot of product through streams and on my uh, videos as well. So. I just don't know where to start. We do have some stuff out here actually that I need to go through. I mean like, genuinely, we have so much stuff to go through. We've got some XY blisters, Furious Fist, that'd be pretty cool. And if there's anything in today's video you see that you like, definitely let me know in the comment section. I mean, look at this, how sick is this tin? We've got a Rayquaza EX tin. I mean, I actually don't know what packs are in here. I can't remember, but there's some really, really cool selections. We've got one of the best sets of Sword and Shield, Evolving Skies, booster box just randomly in one of these boxes. Uh, oh my god, is this uh, is this celebration? No, this is 151. 151, isn't it? So we've got the mini tins right there, a little case. These are really cool. These little stacking tins from the XY era. I've literally only ever seen these once. Um, so we actually picked this off up off for a collector who um, kindly sold them to us. We've got just random blisters. We've got Brilliant Stars blisters right here. We've got loads of different stuff. Look, there's literally just everything thrown about. More sleeve blisters. We've got Dragon Ball. There's so much stuff to go through. Um, but yeah, let's start picking some stuff up, shall we? Because we've got One Piece and Dragon Ball over there, Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Actually, that's a pretty good start. Let's pick up some V-Star Universe. You guys know, if you've been in the streams, I absolutely love this set um, because of it's basically a hit pack and you can pull some absolute bangers as well. So we'll take some of this. I might, do you know what? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Shout out to Whatnot, we're gonna put it in a Whatnot bag. Um, so pick that up in Japan. Have you paid for them yet? Right, we <laughs> don't, we not pay for it yet. All right, look, the butler's on to me already. I haven't even, I've picked through five things up and you're already trying to get me to pay it. All right, geez, I don't know where to start. Right, we're gonna leave the bag down here. I mean, look guys, just random slabs. Just, just literally here. So, the object of today is not to get crushed by product because I feel like if I move one thing, I might get crushed, but I've got some Flareon V tins right here, uh, GX tins here, which is pretty cool. Uh, Avatar, is there any Avatar collectors? That's the first set, I think. It's probably gonna do a One Piece at some point. Uh, we've got Attack on Titan, honestly. An amazing, amazing anime. Series one and series two, um, which is really cool. But, I think, what are we gonna pick up? I mean, I'll probably do like another video just going through everything because there's just too much to go through. I mean, look, if I move this box, guys, you can literally see there's just loads and loads of hidden face tins back there. So if you guys would want to see a full like storage tour, let me know in the comment section. I can make that happen. We've got like booster box cases here. So I think let's get, um, get a Paradox Rift box. What else can we get? Uh, let's go for this one in here, I think. Lost Origin as well, that'll be a good set to open at some point. More Lost Origin. I mean, look, I'll let the butler come through. There was just packs. We need more light in here, genuinely. It is a cave, like, literal cave in here. What have we got in here? Oh my God, don't let it fall. <laughs> oh, actually, this is decent. We want this, we definitely want this. We got a case of Obsidian Flames. So we'll take one of these as well. Obsidian Flames, very cool. And this is the thing about not being organized. <laughs> is there's just random stuff everywhere. Like, look at this. Oh, look what I've just found. A case of Evolutions. Oh, that would be sick. Actually, maybe we do an Evolution Spot break at some point. That would be pretty cool. Let me know if you'd like to see that. You could definitely do it. Um, one Piece case is back here. I'm only gonna pick up Pokemon at the moment, but we got a load of One Piece cases. Literally, that's OP5 and that's OP03. That's the, the big set at the moment, OP05. We got a Japanese TCG collection box right here. And that has the Japanese classic cars, which look amazing. I might actually pick one of those up at some point. Oh, we got Crown Zenith figure boxes. We have, is that the Zacian and Zamazenta ones? I yeah, think. shiny. Yeah, shiny yeah. Figure boxes. So literally, it, random stuff everywhere. What's this over here? Uh, all right, found some more stuff. Take a Powder Evolved booster box. We'll go for one of those. Burning Shadows, SM3, that's Burning Shadows. What's this? Oh, they're all burning oh that's shadows. Burning Shadows as well. That one's upside down, I don't know what that is. 
Skull and Violet Bass. We have a very good selection of stuff. So, all right. We've also, got... ignore the address on <laughs> the boost of what's cases because we've moved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not, we don't live there anymore. All right, okay, so let's take these. Um, that's a good start. I need to put these in the bag. All right, so it's probably happened by, by the time this video comes out, or if it hasn't, it'll be very soon. We're gonna do the first stream of the year by doing a massive celebrations opening to celebrate 2024. And I remember, because I've put them down here, there is a big, oh my goodness, right, this, don't fall, don't fall. There is a big box of celebration packs all the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nearly got it. No, no, stop, there it is. This is the box I was looking for. We got celebration booster packs. Oh my goodness. So yeah, like I said guys, it may have happened already, but uh, the first stream of the year, we're gonna be opening up all of these celebration packs. We've got over a hundred, that's probably close to a thousand here by the looks of it. But um, we're gonna do a big, big opening for that. So we're gonna take these. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I'm never doing this again. This is too much work. Oh, this is a sick box. This is, um, in my opinion, the best Pokemon 151 product. It's the mini booster bundle boxes. This is where I got a God Pack in. So this will actually be really cool to keep sealed, but we've got a shop to keep. So they'll probably be on sale at some point. All right, that's enough of Chubb. I'll, I'll lock him up in a minute. But um, yeah, like I was saying, guys, if you want a full tour or me to go through more of the storage, let me know in the comment section. I can definitely do that. But I think it's now time to pick up some booster packs because I'm gonna be doing, and I haven't done one in a while, but I'm coming back to whatnot, and I'm gonna be doing a massive New Year sale. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a load of booster packs available at a discounted price for you guys. So if you aren't following me on whatnot, make sure to do so. Click the link in the description. And actually, if you sign up, if you haven't signed up yet, make sure you use my link because you get £10 free credit, which means you'll basically be able to pick up some booster packs for free. That's all I'm going to say. So if you're new, make sure you sign up using my link. Whatnot, links in the description. Free packs. Who doesn't like free packs? Just found some more random slabs laying about. We've got a PSA 10 Japanese London 22 Worlds. Oh wow, that's a sick card. Shauna Full Art in Japanese, PSA 10. Oh, we got some Locana. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'll give you a spoiler. This is someone else's PSA return. We'll put these back. We'll put these back. <laughs> I need to send that tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're, okay, cool. All right, look what we got here. We got some Japanese packs. Just picked up some more. We're gonna have some of these packs available for you guys as well. Japanese 151. The price of these boxes are going up. They're getting close to 200 now, so. Um, if you pick these up sooner than later, you gotta give them a good price. I'll have these available in like streams and, and whatnot and stuff like that. There's actually some Hidden Fates packs here too. I love this set. One of my favorite sets of the modern era. Definitely one of the best holiday sets. We got literally just Charizard art. This is like, this is an ETB made for me. Just Charizard packs. And what's really funny is that different prints have different like colors. Like, look at this. Can you see the difference in colors on those packs? Yeah. Does that show? Saturation. Yeah. So I don't know if that means anything, but. Oh, how could I even forget? We got Pokey Chloe, Pokey Neem mystery packs. I'm gonna pick some of these up for you guys to pick up as well. These are running super low, which is a, an amazing thing, but also a really sad thing, because once they're gone, they're gone. Um, but yeah, these have been absolutely incredible. So happy that you guys have loved these. And um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm kind of sad that they're, they're slowly going out of production because uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So right, we've got booster packs, mystery packs. I'm gonna pick up a whole variety of these packs. We've got booster boxes as well. I want something else as well. What can I pick up? Oh, actually, you've just, oh yeah, we've got a lot of sun and moon. We'll maybe do that later, maybe in February or something. Maybe do like a massive sun and moon era stream or something because uh, Love Unbroken Bonds, Burning Shadows. We pulled the Charizard twice, but you were pointing over here, and I think I'm gonna pick up a few of these because um, not only do they have amazing promos in, got 16 packs of 151. I love 151. Definitely one of the best sets of, uh, of 2023. So I think we're gonna do another big 151 opening. It was one of the last streams I did in 2023, and we pulled basically every big hit, bar the Zapdos. We got the Charizard, we got two Venusaurs, we got two Blastoise, it was crazy. So I think we're gonna have to do another one of these. I'm gonna pick up a load of these up and um, yeah, we'll have these available on stream as well. Oh, and look what else I've just found. Literally, ugh, Evolving Skies sleeve boosters. These are getting harder and harder to find. And if you guys didn't know, there was a batch of sleeve boosters, which were like a broken batch. 
and you're literally like had higher chances of getting like all arts and rainbow rares. It was crazy. I don't know if these are them or not. It's really hard to tell. There's actually no way of telling. Um, but yeah, we've got a load of Evolving Skies. Once again, getting really, really hard to pick up. One of the best sets in the Sword and Shield era. Um, and I've actually been lucky enough to pull a lot of all arts recently. We've got the Umbreon and the Leafeon. So shout out to uh, Forox who got one of those, which is crazy. Need one of these as well. Let's pick one of these. I feel like this is gonna go really badly, but. All right, and just literally, in the background, we've got Brilliant Stars Booster Box. We'll definitely pick one of these up. Um, what else can we get? I would pick up some of these, but unfortunately we sold out. We got some first edition, well, we had some first edition fossil packs. They went super quick. But um, like I said, hopefully by the time the shop opens, we'll have this as a display, but at the same time, hopefully we restock with vintage and modern um, very frequently. Maybe not so frequent with vintage, harder to get, but hopefully you know, there will be always kind of some sort of choice for you guys to pick up some vintage um, but I will pick up some of these though like I said shiny treasures EX powder and fates will be coming out very soon but um, this is such a fun set to open hunting for some god packs the Charizard the Mew the Iono too so we'll take some of these as well and I think that is literally gonna be it guys I think we're just gonna have to find out what the price is now so um, I'm gonna add everything up and see what the damage is. Okay, so added up everything, but like, what's the damage? Oh my, 4,300. Oh my goodness. Where's my card? I'm spending too much money on Pokemon, man. Ugh, that, we raided the store, we raided it. But guys, that is gonna wrap up the video. Like I said, make sure you get involved in the streams on YouTube and whatnot this month. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you wanna see a future tour of the Finnish store, and the stock room uh, of all my stuff that we have in storage. Let me know, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Happy New Year.